is like my first time talking for a YouTube video, so I'm kind of nervous. I wanted to do a little vlog because I'm going to be vendoring at Anime Fredericksburg. It's a one day con, so I thought that like this would be my step forward into talking. So I can't even get good footage to begin with. But right now I'm just prepping. So right now I'm making these mini freebie sticker sheets. They're like a pretty old design. Like I designed this like a while ago, but I still use it because I think it's really cute. I'm kind of just giving the freebies out for people who either order a lot or just really nice. People I make good connections with. I used to have these for like, follow me on Instagram and get a free mini sticker sheet, but I don't do that anymore. I kind of noticed that people just kind of followed my Instagram to get a, something free and then it didn't really benefit me. So yeah, we're not doing that anymore. So yeah, I'm cutting these. I also need to cut a few more die cuts. So you can come along with me with prepping. Hopefully I get actual footage of me prepping. Like filming is new to me. So, you know, I'm still getting the hang of it, but yeah. what I've gotten done so far. I think I'm gonna make about 20 of these cause it is just a one day con and I think it's a pretty small con at that. So I'm actually kind of nervous. Like I really hope that I make back table and stuff and I'll talk about um, all the prices and the profit and all that at the end of the vlog, just so that you guys can get kind of an idea of how the con went for me. I have two more sheets. And then I am going to work on die cuts probably. And I have everything packed up already. So I don't really know what else I have to do other than that. As I was prepping and cutting my sticker sheets, I had my prints come in the mail. Here they are. The colors came out so good. Like, look how cute. Here's the last one. They turn out so good, the colors. I got these off of Cat Prince. Cat Prince never does me dirty. This is exactly what the original colors looked like in my file, but I do everything in RGB, which obviously is not the printing. The printing you usually wanna do in CMYK, but I always do RGB and it always turns out really good because I turn up the saturation on the file that I send to get printed. So when I turn up the saturation, it's a lot more saturated than I would like it. And because the colors come out more dull because I do it in RGB, it turns out exactly like the original file. Anyways, back to work. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm working on now because this might be helpful for people to know in the future if you guys do your own events and use Square like me. So I'm on the Square app right now and I added all, I haven't added any products in the categories, but I just wanted to show you, I added all the categories of my items here and I'll be adding like individ the individual ones. So this is the baking sticker sheet, obviously. And then I'll go ahead and add the banana sticker sheet and stuff like that. This is so that I can actually track what sells more because before I was doing this, I just had a favorites page and my items was, was literally like die cut sticker or memo pad. So I'm currently doing that so that I have it in time for Anime Fredericksburg. Good morning! 
hopefully you can hear me good since I'm outside. Today is Friday, so we are currently packing up the car to head out to the convention center. Usually my brother comes to help me pack, but he's sick. So I'm going by myself with my partner. Hopefully I can build my setup good. He usually does the building of the setup, so we'll see how it goes. We're heading to the bank first so that I can get um, my cash out and just have it ready for tomorrow so we don't have to make any stops tomorrow. I'm also probably gonna buy extra artist badges for my siblings for tomorrow, so, and I need cash to do that. So yeah, we're doing that and then we're gonna head to the convention center. The convention center is about an hour away, so. Yay, we made it to my table. My partner is getting the rest of the stuff in the car, but now I'm just going to go ahead and set up. Wish me luck. Okay, here is the current progress of my setup. Oh my gosh, you can see one of the little froggy displays back there. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess right now, but I'm adding all the stickers and decorations and stuff. My little model I did here in my basement. Okay, we're packing up now. I'm putting all my valuables in the suitcases because I have little locks for them. They're little bears, isn't that so cute? So I'm going to be closing it up now and then I will be showing you the final table display. Okay, so here is the full table. I also wanted to highlight my tip jar. Steven! All my tips will be actually going to Steven's toy fund and I'll add this in the video if I do get any tips for him. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. I'm like really exhausted, so we're gonna go eat and i'll see you guys tomorrow i just used a like silk bed sheet i think and then i got these really cute cat claw clips and i just clipped it to my display stand so it can't like fall off Fredericksburg day it's 8 a.m we're going into the car now we're gonna get like mcdonald's breakfast or something and then we are gonna head to the convention center see you there set up right now i think it's open to vip members only but let me give you a rundown of my booth she's looking so cute it is currently 2 p.m Sales are going really good so far. So far, I made that table and some profit. Not sure how much, but I will talk about it at the end of the video. So, yeah. see you for now.
it's currently 5 p.m. And I'm rushing to pack up because we want to make it to you noodles in time because I'm craving soup dumplings right now. So it's a mess. Oh my gosh. Do you see? I'm like a mess right now. But yeah, we're gonna pack up and then I will see you later. We're done. We sped run it because we're trying to make it in time for the restaurant. In the car now. We're heading to you noodles. So I'm gonna do a little bit of vlogging there and then the next time you see me is probably gonna be back at my house when I talk about profit and all of that stuff. Now at PetSmart because I got $9 in my tip jar for Steven. So we're gonna go get him a toy. Actually getting these two, it's, it's actually $10, but obviously I don't care because that's my baby. Sunday after Anime Fredericksburg. Sorry I look like a bum right now. I'm like exhausted. I wanted to just talk about pricing, taxes, things like that. The Anime Fredericksburg show went really, really well actually. So I'm very surprised. I was really worried I wasn't going to make back table. I wouldn't make as much profit as I did. So I'm very, very pleased with the turnout of the event. So I'm going to add the number right here of how much I profited. The table cost was 94 or something for one day, which is pretty good. And then along with that, I subtracted things like food I spent at the con. And also I subtracted money that I spent at other people's stand um, using the money that I brought or using the money that I earned, basically. So I subtracted all that. And I do try to calculate to the best of my abilities of um, product that I bring. But the thing is, is that it's hard for me to kind of gauge that because I have an online shop. When I'm buying product and stocking product, I do it for my online shop, not for a specific event or anything. So I try to kind of tally up or add up the number, the amount that I brought with how much I spent per item when getting it manufactured. So I tried to do all that. So this is this is around the profit that I, that I made, um, which is really good for a one day small con and it was also a first year con so this is the first year that they were ever doing this con so you know sometimes those are pretty unpredictable but I always feel like I'm worried about not making back table I think that's the biggest thing for me is making back table um, but I did and I made a lot of profit after that which I'm super surprised about but super super happy about I think one of the biggest tips I have is not to go into a convention with any expectations on like how much you're going to make or how busy it's going to be, how much you're going to sell, things like that. Um, just because you're going to end up feeling super disappointed if you don't make that expectation goal. So I try not to go with any expectations. That way I'm never really disappointed. I think the only thing I ever, the only goal I ever set for myself is to make back table. And then after that, if I make back table, my sub goals are to make back anything else that I spent for the con and then after that obviously just profit I don't have a price range on how much profit I want to make just because I don't want to set that expectation for myself and then be super disappointed when I don't make that expectation definitely the profit I made at this con was way higher than my expectations just because it's a one day small con um so yeah I'm very happy about that I'm super exhausted this is going to be my second to last tabling event for the year um, but the next one I have is a pretty local one. It's just a local craft market at, for a school. So I don't have very much expectations for that one either because it's for a school and it's a Christmas market. So this was technically my last convention for the year. I don't have anything lined up yet for summer or spring just because a lot of the cons haven't opened applications yet. I'm hoping that I get into some good cons. Um, and hopefully I can update on my social media. It was hard setting up without my brother there because doing the grid walls myself, I literally broke one. I broke one trying to just put it in the circle thing, the circle thing that holds it. 
and I was getting super frustrated because it was so hard to like push everything in. I'm like weak and I have like noodle arms, like I can't, okay? Besides that, it was super fun con and I'm so glad and thankful to everyone who came, everyone I bought from, everyone I traded with. I met a lot of really sweet artists and I got to reunite with a few artists that I've met at previous cons, so I'm very happy about that. Um, everyone is so nice and so sweet and I really hope that I can see some of you guys again at the next con I'm at. So stay tuned to my Instagram. I'll be posting if I'm going to any upcoming events, I'll usually do like a little announcement post um and yeah i'll see you guys next time